Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today on this beautiful Sunday morning, 13th of March, we're going to quickly jump in a TA video. Uh, six minutes next, I hope. Let's quickly see the beautiful charts. Back. first one so we're here guys this is the four hour chart and um, i'm not going to talk about the bam bam indicator or the any other e indicators because you by now already know but on the four hour chart we can see that on the logarithmic growth curve we are finding support on the 14.59 uh, percentage fibonacci level again over here so if we keep support over there, does that mean that we are going to go to that top line again? And that's around 44,900, 45,000, let's say like that. Um, that could be the next move in Bitcoin, because if we zoom out, we can see that we have been moving in between those lines for some time now. It started all over here in the 21st of January, and we are now here at the 13th of March. So that's over a month. And um, let's hope we go back again to this level and that we come closer again to that red line over here at 48 and break that one. If we break that one, that would be awesome because that means we'll be moving above the 200 daily moving average. And if we break that one, that would be very positive, guys. Now, um, let's zoom out a little bit to the weekly here on the weekly. We can see the sale, the candle needs to close in, let's see, 15 hours and 14 minutes. Um, I would love to see it close a little bit higher, then the, the wick is not as long as it is over here. But still, it's a green candle and it's higher than the previous week. Uh, so that is a positive in my opinion. Look, uh, if you look back here to this previous area where we were uh, around the higher low, we had these two huge green wicks as well. And we did go higher after that, but we also went lower till we had um, bodies with a long wick to the bottom. So we had the body with a long wick over here. We had a body with a long wick over there. But these are, um, you know, showing the opposite. So again, in my opinion, we need to close the candle above the yellow stepping line and there with a full body and that will be the positive start of a run all the way up to the top over there at 65k the gaussian channel we've talked about it as well this week a few times we are finding support at the bottom uh, but again this is those candles going to close in three days as these are five day candles uh, we should be closing it a little bit higher like a little bit above 38,867. we are at 39 at the moment i think yes so that should be positive now um, do i have any other charts yes i have any a few other charts this is the first chart guys i really like this one this shows you how many days we have been in which area so between one dollar and ten dollar we were 411 days between 10 and 100 dollar we spent 380 days between 10 uh, between 100 and thousand dollar we spent 1300 days of bitcoin's history and between thousand and ten thousand dollar 1113 days now from ten thousand to one hundred thousand we have been spending around 750 days we can spend another 400 days more in this area if we look to the previous two areas which we were both be uh, above the 1100 days so um let's see because another 400 days means another year really cool chart there's another cool chart that i found on twitter that is this one um this is the chart about the e-liquid and the liquid supply let's be clear the liquid supply is a supply of bitcoin that is easy transferable like the, the supply on exchanges the supply that you can see on short-term wallets that's being transferred very quickly illiquid is the supply that is like not liquid but on hardware wallets that is like held there for more than five months or longer periods that is not being transferred into the market and in total the supply will be 21 million bitcoins we all know that we are almost at 19 million bitcoins as a supply. I think it's 18 million, 18 million 980,000 or something like that as a supply. And of that total supply, at the, at the moment, around 76% is illiquid, guys. Which means um, that there is not a lot of bitcoins of those 19 million that is being exchanged, that's just being held. So the whole portfolio is growing tremendously. And if you look at this chart, this will be growing more and more and more. So for example, I will draw this line. This is now the line. 
um, of the uh, illiquid supply, which means that's now around uh, 14 and uh, 14.3 million bitcoins. Let's presume it goes up, it goes down, it goes up again and comes down, something like this, you know. We, we then we at the end the, the total amount of bitcoins is going to be illiquid is over 80%. And that means that only 20% of the bitcoins are able to be sold and bought. So the higher the illiquid supply, the lower the liquid supply. But at the same time, the higher demand grows, the higher the price needs to go. Because there's not a lot of bitcoins that can be transferred from hands. I hope this is a little bit clear. Pause the video and, and, and check the chart again. Top numbers over here, these are the predictions and the actual actual. Um, halving impacts that we see. So we think that the halving impact will uh, be uh, 11%, but it was 11.5%. Uh, the next halving, it w the, the prediction is 5.9%, but it can again be higher and or 3.3%. Really cool chart. Now, um, I want to end the video with something uh, else. I want to end it with this one because I really want to show you why you should be hodling bitcoin i found this one on wicked smart bitcoin over here uh, on the twitter i'm going to play this one uh, so you understand why you should hodl bitcoin look at the top you can see the hodl period is one day and the analyzed of total period is 4500 2500 periods were in profit and 2020 were negative results that is when you hodl one day now check what happens if you hodl longer the amount of periods in positive returns is increasing tremendously and the negative returns, is de returns are decreasing. So the longer you huddle, the more chance you will have positive returns. You can see the green increasing and the red decreasing. This is a very cool um, video. So understand. The longer you huddle Bitcoin, the more positive your return will be. Now, that was really everything for today i hope you really enjoyed this sunday video if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about the charts do you understand the illiquid and the liquid part um, and do you understand that you need to hollow bitcoin because of the video that i just shared thanks for watching i wish you an amazing sunday and see you tomorrow again Bam.